Today is all about hummus, how to make the creamiest, the tastiest, the most inviting hummus ever. I hope you're as excited as I am. I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and it's my mission to serve you God's recipe for excellent health, and it's my joy to do it. I teach cooking. I teach how to live healthy. I teach how to take care of your body. And if you haven't found out yet, we have a free course that's called Seven Steps to Biblical Health. You might want to grab that down below and just get started with that every day because that is some of my best teachings with my coaching clients. Okay, now, today is about hummus, but there's other videos that we're doing all the time, like the tahini video and the pumpkin hummus. Oh, that is so good. And you don't want to miss any of those. So make sure you're subscribed down below and hit the bell next to it so you know when we're posting new videos. And I hope you can keep up because it's like three to four videos a week. And it's fun. Really good information, especially from God's Word. Okay, I think you're ready. So today we're making hummus. Now I have searched so many recipes to find the best one, and I did it. I am so excited about this recipe that I'm gonna share with you today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our lemons and our garlic and our salt. I have already squeezed the lemons and diced and minced the garlic and added the salt, and it's been sitting in this bowl now for about 10 minutes. What that does is it just helps the flavor of the garlic to be less bitter and more mellow, but not lose the flavor of the garlic. We're gonna go ahead and blend this in our food processor. The food processor I use pretty much most of the time in my videos, as you figured out, is what sits on top of my Bosch mixer. If you have your own food processor, that's great. If you don't, you wanna check this out, I'll put the link down below. So we're just gonna blend this up. Okay, you may wonder, do you have to put your hand on top? No, but only when you're missing the piece that goes on top do you use your hand, because this flies everywhere. Biblical Nutritionist is not about being perfect, it's about sharing you what's going on, sharing with you what's going on in my kitchen. So I hope you have fun just as I do. Okay, now we're gonna add our tahini. That was another recipe that took me a while to perfect and I never would have guessed it was so easy to make tahini. So be sure and check out the video on how to make your own tahini. You can make it with an oil or without an oil, either way. And you know, the more you know how to cook, whether you do it all the time or not, the better prepared you'll be in case you know anything happens where uh, you know times get tough and we need to know how to feed our family without going to the grocery store. So let me go ahead and blend in the tahini. And this is tahini that has olive oil in it already, so we're going to already be ahead as far as having a creamy texture. Okay, not gonna take long to blend that up at all because our tahini was already nice and creamy and our lemon juice was already mixed well. Now what we have here already looks like a beautiful hummus, but it's not because we haven't added the chickpeas. But it's extremely creamy, and you can just kind of see how good that texture looks, right? Looks good, yes? And our salt was in the lemon juice too. So I'll put the recipe down below, the link to that recipe, so you can grab that, and I know you're gonna have fun with this recipe. Now we add the chickpeas. So the chickpeas have already been boiled for 20 minutes, in, in water and baking soda. And I'll explain that in, down below. And that's gonna make them creamier. If you just use canned chickpeas and you're not removing the skin off of the chickpea, it can make your, your hummus just a little bit more, or I should say less creamy. It might be a little chunky. And sometimes canned chickpeas are not all the way cooked. And so they don't blend well. And you're blending and blending and blending. And you're like, okay, I will just eat it chunky. <laughs> well, by by um, cooking your chickpeas for 20 minutes before you bring them to the hummus, it's going to make it much creamier and easier to blend. 
Okay, so I added the chickpeas. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in our cumin. And it also calls for olive oil, which I'm gonna hold off on that because I have a very creamy tahini. I may not need the olive oil. The tahini is the one that I made, so I know what's in it. And it has olive oil in it. Some tahinis are, um, have a lot of water, so we'll just see how this goes. Okay, we've blended that up. And yeah, I didn't think we were gonna need that olive oil. Look at how creamy that is. I've made so many hummuses that were a little bit chunky, a little bit dry, and this is the perfect recipe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dish this out onto a plate here. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna taste so, so good. Yum, yum. All right, and as you know, just to go ahead and fix up your plate, you would just make those traditional swirls in your hummus. And with those traditional swirls, we're trying to just make some pockets to put the olive oil in. Drizzle some olive oil on top. Let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna to top it off with just a little bit of smoked paprika. Another one of my favorite herbs. And it looks like I grabbed a brand new bottle that hasn't been opened. I told you, these videos are not about being perfect. They're about having fun in the kitchen. <laughs> there we go. And I definitely have some paprika on there. So we could use, you know, obviously we could use some chips. We could use some carrot sticks. Whatever your family loves to delight with, to use as a dip, and you can enjoy this hummus. Mm. Okay, that is definitely a keeper. <laughs> All right, I hope you've enjoyed this issue of the Biblical Nutritionist and Making Hummus. We have several other videos that are linked to this video. I hope you catch that down below. And you really shouldn't eat a bite of food when you're trying to speak. I know your mother taught you better. Anyway, be sure and hit the like and the subscribe and leave some comments. Excuse me. What is your favorite flavored hummus? I also have a video on pumpkin hummus. That is totally one of my favorites. And I'm gonna be posting a video on beet hummus and you don't wanna miss that. So be sure and hit the bell. I'm Annette Reader, Biblical Nutritionist. Thanks for watching.